Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. In every new crypto bull market, the altcoins that do well the most are actually new altcoins that launch a year or two before the bull market. Because new crypto projects don't have bag orders from the previous bull market waiting for the coin to pump a little so they can dump on new investors. That's why in today's video, I will be talking about three new altcoins under one dollar that I think has a potential to do very well in the next bull market. If today is your first time watching my videos and these are the kind of content you want to see, please like and subscribe for more videos like this. The first project I will be talking about today is ArcArm. Akam launched around July this year from Binance Launch Pool, where they raised around $2.5 million. And Akam has done around 600% since its IEO three months ago. Akam is using artificial intelligence to build a platform that provides information on the reward entities an individual behind crypto market activities. In simple words, Akam is trying to de-anonymize the blockchain. That means whenever an individual performs a transaction on the blockchain, you can know who exactly is performing this transaction. This is very good in a way that every trader can track their favorite influencers, VCs, or individual and know the exact wallet and know what exactly they are buying. For example, if you want to know what Elomax is buying, you can use this account platform to track Elomax wallet. Then you know what exactly Elomax is investing in and you also, you can invest in that project. So I think this is very huge. And I think in the next bull market, a lot of crypto traders will be using account platform to track their favorite influencers to know exactly what they are buying and what they are selling. And few months ago, account released their Intel exchange. Basically what they do in this Intel exchange is you can buy and sell information on their exchange. So for example, if you want to know a particular information on the blockchain that is not yet public, you will go to this Intel exchange and say, I want to know this. And a lot of bounty hunter will try to figure that for you. And once they figure that for you, they will sell that information to you. And only you will have access to that information for 90 days before it's made known to the public. Like for example, also, you want to know which wallet is exactly Elomax wallet. You can put that on Akam Intel Exchange and Bounty Hunters will try to figure that for you and send you the wallet using Akam Intel Exchange. So the main reason why I am super bullish on Akam is the brand backing Akam. As you can see here, brands like Coinbase Venture, Digital Currency Groups are part of the VCs backing Akam and also Sam Atman. And if you know Sam Atman, Sam Atman is actually the CEO and co-founder of OpenAI. And OpenAI is actually the company behind ChatGPT. So if a billionaire like Sam Atman is super bullish on Akam, then I also, I need to be bullish on Akam. So since the launch of Akam three months ago, Akam has actually been dumping constantly, which is a normal thing in the crypto market. Whenever a new project launch, it pump a little and after the initial pump, it starts to retrace. As you can see here, after the IEO on Binance, I can go to around um, 79 cents and since then it has dumped around um, 53 percent. So basically I will be patient a little because some people actually bought um, Akam from Binance Launchpad 
at around um, 5 cents. So I will be patient if we see a camp dump to around, let's say, 10 cents or 5 cents in the coming months, then I will buy a lot of Akam and I will hold this till the next bull market. So the next project I will be talking about today is Winra Protocol. Winra Protocol is building a decentralized on-chain iGaming infrastructure. Basically, Winra Protocol is building an infrastructure where different decentralized betting platforms can be built on. And right now, WinRA protocol just have one betting platform on the infrastructure. As you can see, they have just just bet. And in a few months, they are trying to add two more betting platform. That is the sports bet platform and also the DJ platform. And since the launch of WinRA protocol, the total betting volume is around 64 million dollars so for a protocol like winra that just have one betting platform having this amount of volume i think that's very huge and that's why i think winra protocol will be doing very very well in the next um, bull market and just few hours ago winra protocol announced that they have applied for an arbitrum grant and if this grant is to be approved I expect WinRA protocol should do well in the coming weeks and months. And as you can see, the market cap of WinRA protocol is actually very low. It's just around um, $8 million. If you compare this to other gaming platforms like Gala Game, Nakamoto Games, I think this has a very long way to go. And if the Arbitrum grant is approved, I expect on WinRA protocol should do at least eight times two in the coming month. So the last project I will be talking about today is Robit. Robit is a decentralized casino platform. What I like mostly about Robit is they have different betting or casino game built on the platform. As you can see, they have a lot of different um, casino here on the Robit. And also, a few months ago, Rubit actually partnered with Napoli. Napoli is actually one of the biggest football clubs in the world and currently the Italian league champion. So for a new project like Rubit partnering with Napoli, I think that is very huge. And I think in the coming years, they will have a lot of big partnerships like this. Maybe in the future, they might partner with football club like FC Barcelona, Real Madrid, Bayern Munich, and the rest. And I think that will be very bullish for Roybit. And the main reason why I am very bullish on Roybit is the revenue they are making every day. As you can see, they made around $1.5 million in total from the casino revenue and also around $200,000 in the past 24 hours from their futures revenue and around $100,000 from their sports revenue. And some of this money they make from revenue is used to buy back Roy Bitcoin and bond. As you can see here, they announced the buy and bond of Roy Bit um, token, which they will be using some certain percent to buy back some Roy Bitcoin. Since the launch of Roy Bit last year, Roy Bit has actually pumped a lot it has done around 15,000%. And um, since the all-time high of Roybit on two months ago, Roybit has dumped around um, 32%. So I will be patient with Roybit. If we can see more dump in the price of Roybit to let's say a 100 million market cap, then I will buy some Roybit and I will hold those tokens till the next bull market. So basically, guys, this is all I have for you today. And guys, please remember, I am not a financial advisor. Everything I see on my videos are just for education purpose. And if today is your first time watching my videos and these are the kind of content you want to see, please like and subscribe for more videos like this. Bye, guys.